Ang video na to ay handog ni cdkoffers.com. Marami kang mahahanap na iba't ibang uri ng software dito. May games, apps, activation codes for Windows 10. Check out our video on CDK Offers in the video description. Mabilis, mura, and syempre legit dito. Madali lang mag-order, search for the software you need, add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CDK ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. Alright, what's up internet? So, thanks for joining us for another episode of In The Shop. We are slightly delayed. I had to reconnect OBS again. Um, kasi parang, if you remember the last time I did a stream from the shop, it wouldn't connect to YouTube and it wouldn't do that again. So I had to monkey around with the settings and then ngayon ayos na siya. Um, so we are both live on Facebook and YouTube now. And first I want to say we activated uh, YouTube memberships early this month. And to be honest, sobrang nagulat, <laughs> sobrang nagulat na you know, people actually signed up. Um, I didn't expect the level of uh the lev the number of people to sign up so quickly because it it's you know it's been basically only two weeks so i want to say hi to the new members uh itx addict and we actually do have an itx build scheduled for tomorrow pag-usapan natin yan uh, mamaya naka line up na yung parts and to chai games another new member on youtube thanks for joining so all the usual suspects are, you know, I see a lot of familiar names in the chat. What's up, Revin Jan, uh, Mark Balboa, GL Flores, and Linbert. Thanks for joining me this Sunday. And we'll talk about first, the first thing, um, you know, a lot of cool stuff came out last year. So NVIDIA 3000 series, Ryzen 5000 series, and uh, AMD Big Navi 6000 series. And so the hope was na, kasi ang daming production, Dami production concerns and dami ring an lakas din ng demand. So the hope was that, you know, sige, medyo tight yung supply sa 2020 to end 2020, but hopefully coming into 2021, it'll be better. Unfortunately, um, you know, we're about to end the month and that hasn't happened. Um, we haven't gotten any new 5000 series Ryzen's. We haven't gotten any 6000 series AMD, Big Navi. And just last week, we were still zero for 3000 series, although we have gotten this just in stock now. We have the MSI RTX 3070. Uh, what's this? The Triple X? The Trio X. Gaming Trio X. Gaming Trio X. And we also do have the Ventus 3X na MSI. So, um, still, this is sort of like the entry level 3000 series. There is the upcoming 3060 Ti, but I haven't seen it locally yet. Um, so the 3070 is sort of the entry level 3000 series, and that's the only one we've gotten so far, and just from one brand. So the production, you know, whatever it is, the production shortages or the shipping log jams or, and then you know, basically what happened in 2020 is still happening in 2021. Sobrang hirap makahanap ng parts ngayon. Hi to Chevgo and GL Flores for shout out watching from Laguna. Thanks for watching. Uh, I am actually heading down south on Tuesday because we're picking up. I'm going to pick up some items. Uh, where we have a new supplier, and it's kind of interesting because this is the first time I'm dealing with a supplier na parang from overseas. Usually I just deal with the local distributors. So we're gonna make a video out of that. Like we're gonna pop over to the warehouse in Cavite, see what it's like. Legit ba sila? Um, if you don't see me anymore, that means they're not legit and they killed me and stole my money and, you know, buried my body somewhere. Um, so it, it is a sort of unknown supplier. It's the first time we're dealing with them. So Tuesday, I'm going to go out to Cavite to their warehouse and hopefully get some cool stuff and not get mugged or anything like that. Um, so the issues with production on all of the nice stuff that we you know that we were hoping na maayos na sa 2021 tuloy pa rin. so it's really hard to find 
quality performance item so far um, in 2021. Even items that, you know, medyo, mahi, medyo madali pa hanapin in 2020, we can't find anymore now. Uh, common example are the NZXT stuff. Like, they're not even the common NZXT cases or AIOs. It's like the little things that are super important, like internal USB hubs, which we use a lot, especially if the build does a lot of RGB. Um, the NZXT AR AER2 triple pack na fans that's been sold out for months and we keep trying to get. Even the NZXT puck, which is, you know, uh, sort of a mainstay. We've had that since the shop opened in the different colors, blue, red, black, white. Um, wala, yun din, sold out and I, I keep trying to get but I can't um, I can't get any our supplier is out so okay I akala ko nag-freeze yung video pero parang pangit lang ata yung frames per second nung camera or rather the app that I'm using so <laughs> medyo stuttery on my end um, so that's the basic state of the hardware Supplies now. Parang 2020 lang. Wala pang pagbabago. It's really hard to get nice stuff. Even the 5700 XT, um, AMD, which is the previous gen, we can't get anymore. Uh, although we do have one second hand in stock. You can see it in our second hand list. I'll also maybe pop over to the back to show it to you. Um, so, you know, some of us were hoping, or I was hoping na, ang hirap kasi mag-build nung maganda kung kulang kulang yung parts and actually we encourage our customers na it's okay you can buy like the graphics card from outside and then you can get the rest from us we'll still we will still um build it for free no problem um pero yun nga sobrang hirap pa rin makahanap nung parts and uh it's still the same advice as last year if you find a part that you really want. If you can wait, it's better to wait because sobrang mahal ng mga prices ngayon. If you can't wait, um, then isirit mo na kaagad. If you find a part that you like, j just go ahead and get it already because you never know uh, kailan maubusan yan. You never know um, how much that will be <laughs> next time you see it. Because actually, to be honest, pataas ng pataas yung mga <laughs> um, items sa suppliers. Like a 3070 was... I cheaper um, last month and then it slightly became more expensive now and again it's not the shops of course because customers deal with the shop and so they think ah yung mga may ari ng mga shops yung mga uh, you know gusto lang na mas, mat mas mataas kita nila so they're really jacking up the prices um, I can't speak for other shops but Hardware Sugar is not like that we have a set profit or you know a set rate that we mark up the products on and then we don't go past that but our prices are still going up because when we get them the supply from the supplier, ganun na mas mahal na talaga sila. And so our standard rate is more expensive because when we get it, it's also more expensive. Um, so Dante Garzon from Facebook, thank you, very loyal customer. And yes, it is a crazy time to build a PC. But I noticed that hasn't stopped you. <laughs> Dante has bought uh, several items from us, uh, basically a whole rig's worth. And slightly more, I think. It's more like plus plus, like uh, a build and some extra stuff as well. Um, and he does have an item. Oh, he has two items here with us in the shop. I was just trying to figure out, like, who are these two items in the back? Build? Who do they belong to? Um, but yeah, they are in the back for you. Uh, Rafael from YouTube says, I'm so glad I got the 3060 Ti na. I do know actually which... 3060 Ti he's referring to. That's the colorful brand which he got from us, but it's also sold out now. And we will actually do a video, uh, or we hope to do a video sometime in the future. Na apparently, uh, it's the first time that we carried colorful, but so far no problems. And apparently, it's very overclockable. I've seen some of the numbers posted by Rafael. Um, actually, Rafael is Rocky the Programmer. If you watched our last Wede Magtanong. So Rocky the Programmer has posted impressive numbers using the colorful... 3060 Ti, um, and we hope to do a video about that as well. So long story short, supplies still suck. Uh, if you can hold, hold. If you can't hold, get it now. If you see a part that you like from whatever shop, I, I really recommend just getting it already because it's sobrang hirap na ngayon. Um, you never know what parts are going to come in, and you never know magkano na sila when they do come in. But yes, we do have the 
RTX um, Gaming Trio X 3070 as well as the Ventus 3X. Not yet on our website because we just got them in, but I'll probably update them, update the website later if I don't get sidetracked by Cyberpunk. It's true, I've been playing a lot of Cyberpunk. Um, also because Asus was kind enough to lend us a 3080, and that 3080 is powering my old ass rig to playing Cyberpunk on ultra settings, on everything, uh, 2K gaming, and frame rates are very decent, like they're very playable. So we're gonna do a video on that as well. Uh, Jasper asks, Kala ko sir, sarado kayo pag Sunday? We are actually open every day, Monday to Sunday, except today, this Sunday, we are closed because our staff is on leave. Um, but if you notice, all of my other pwede magtanongs have usually been on Sunday because I stream after the shop closes. But we're usually open even on Sunday, except this Sunday. Alright, so that is the state of stock. If you can hold, hold. And if you can't, get it now. And let me turn the camera around so you guys can see. We actually have four completed builds in the shop. All of them... Just waiting for pickup. Sorry, I couldn't plug all of them in. Um, but let's go through them briefly. Let me. So, yeah. I'm gonna use this other camera. So, three of these guys, one, two, and three, are actually all for one customer. They're an animation studio. And, you know, I guess they wanted their computers with a little pop. They, they didn't want like a boring computer na pang office, pero. Performance naman. So they wanted a performance, but you know, with some edge to it. So actually they got all RGB cases. These two are our go-to MATX case, the MB Cooler Master MB300 311L ARGB. So it comes already with RGB as well as ARGB controller. This is the MSI Forge also with RGB. Um you know this actually let me just you notice that this is a similar, a lot of the cases now are not wall-to-wall -wall tempered glass. So it's about three-fourths and then they have a PSU shroud so you don't see the boxy, you know, the box of the PSU. Um, the MSI Forge is very similar to the MSI Vampiric, which is another case that I think we have. Oh no, we have one more Forge here. Um, I saw the Vampiric on stock on the site, so that means we should have it somewhere here. Although these are the 510 Elites from NZXT. Um, I'm gonna have to double check that. I thought we still had one Vampiric. I bring up the Vampiric because actually I like it better. Just, you know, the look. I like the look better of the Vampiric over the Forge. Um, and again, cases are very subjective. Um, and so, you know, what I like, you might not like and vice versa. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, our suggestion always for a case is take your time because you know that's the most visible thing about your computer and you should be happy with the aesthetic. A lot of people on YouTube actually complain na <laughs> I, I keep rambling on about, oh, dapat maganda yung case, dapat may in love ka, dapat ang ganda, ang linis ng mga lines and things like that. And then they're like, but you know, you never mention airflow. And yes, airflow is important. But usually, kasi in a good case, maganda na yung airflow. You'll notice all of our choices here have mesh front panel so that the air can really get in. And not only do they have mesh, they have fans in the front so that they can suck up that air and suck it out. You know, cold air comes in the front and the uh, hot air goes out in the back as well as if you want the chimney effect, then you put fans here also and then you, then it goes up on top. So generally, you know, more premium cases um, already have decent, ranging from decent to good to excellent uh, thermals or airflow. One, <laughs> since, since I touched on that, one noticeable exception is the H510 Elite, which is super good looking. Like, you know, this were a person, this would be like prom king, prom queen. Sobrang ganda nung H510 Elite. It really pops. Um, and that's in large part because of the, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but basically this is, the front panel is all glass and you can see the two 140mm RGB fans here. The problem is it's very pretty looking, but since this is glass and there are just very small, uh, there's just very small space on the side of the front panel to let the air in, airflow is not so good. And, but 
and yet it's a very popular case because you know um it is you know it is a balance like you know can i live with bad airflow but it's just really such a beautiful case and i'm in love with it already and again so to go back to the analogy that would my in love guy and sometimes when you're in love with someone um you know you overlook their flaws and a lot of people do that for the 510 elite because it is just so damn pretty and i'm sure in real life a lot of people also <laughs> are willing to overlook some flaws in their partner because their partner is just so damn pretty so just a bit about these builds um yeah this company actually really went out um for performance as well as aesthetic you notice here they used uh the aio is the core liquid 240r also from msi very distinctive um cpu block there uh with their dragon logo i'm not sure if you can see it um as always excellent cable management by hardware sugar and i'm not even uh, i'm not going to take credit this was assembled by our uh, one of our techs uh gerald Actually, both Gerald and uh, Jay, our other tech, are very, very good. They're excellent at cable management. I could not do it like this, to be honest. Um, so, I actually never touch customer builds because Gerald and Jay are so much better at it. I always do my own builds um, because, you know, I like that sense of satisfaction na ako yung gumawa and, you know, I'm very, talagang... Lahat ng pasikot sikot to computer ko, alam ko kasi ako talaga nag build. But when it comes to customer builds, I leave it to the professionals, i.e., Gerald and Jay. And really, the the cable management of these things is superlative. I mean, wala ka talagang makitang, you know, stray wire or anything like that. So clean. Um, just a bit about this this build. These are actually twin builds. So this is the say this guy is the same as this guy. Um, we finally got to use the Inwin SR24 AIO. And it's not a popular AIO, to be honest. Kasi mas sikat yung iba. Of, of course, NZXT. Everybody loves the NZXT AIOs. And let me just bring it, bring you guys here very briefly. Because we have all of them. If you are looking for an AIO, we got all of them. The X53, the X63, the Z63. Which, again, uh, I keep mentioning this whenever we show this on the channel. Uh, on the stream, but basically the 53 and the 63 are the updated versions of the 52 and the 62. Updated how? They just changed the pump a little bit, so it's supposed to be slightly more efficient and slightly less noisy. But the big, big draw is the Z63, because this is the guy with the LCD uh, display on the pump. So you can have this display a graphic, a moving animation, you can have it display temperatures and other system specs and things like that. So this is the sort of the step up. This is the first time NZXT did this in their AIOs. But they were not the first to do that. Again, as I mentioned before, ASOS uh, ROG already had... ROG, thanks for the cap. ROG already had a similar product even before ASOS came out with it. Um, I forget lang what they... Ryujin, I think they used to call the, the, the model name. Um... But we do have all of the NZXT AIOs. Get them before other people do because they do tend to run out very quickly. But as I was saying, we, were finally, we finally got to use in these two builds the Inwin SR24. And I've been wanting to use this because this seems like such good value for money. Because ng RGB fans, you'll notice the NZXT AIOs, they did not come with the RGB fans. Yung RGB lang dun, yung pump head, yung CPU block. Um... The Inwin is much cheaper, comes already with two RGB fans. I think these are ARGB. I think these are the Jupiters. And then the pump is also, the CPU block is also very distinctive. Actually, I didn't realize just how big the CPU block was until we got it inside. You know, we actually were able to use it. And it's really quite tall. It it looks like one of the capacitors on the Mobo. Na parang binigyan ng Mario Mushroom, tas biglang lumaki. <laughs> it's really quite large. But for me at least, not in, in an off-putting way. I mean, it looks very premium and um it's look it looks monolithic without overwhelming everything of course it probably does look um bigger also because in relation to the m80x so these are m80x builds which are smaller than the usual atx or the standard atx builds i believe the sr24 
I remember reading something like you could see inside it, or was that the MSI? Mm, doesn't say also on the box. They are Jupiter fans though. So actually, I'm quite happy. Uh, <laughs> I am happy that we actually got to build using them. They look pretty good actually. Again, uh, they and the mirrored finish is very nice. I don't know if you can appreciate the mirrored finish on the on camera, but they're looking pretty darn good. These are these GPUs are also colorful, the GTX 1660s, I believe. So again, it's uh we've only started carrying colorful, but they seem to be doing pretty well performance-wise. And nobody, none of our customers who have bought them have complained. I also just wanna mention quite briefly that these are MSI motherboards, all three, one, two, and three. And you notice what's nice about the MSI motherboards is that they have flash BIOS now enabled. So this makes it much easier if you need to update the operating system or basically the BIOS of your motherboard, which because and dami nangyayari ngayon, dami mga new products, dami mga bagong CPUs, we have to do fairly regularly and it's kind of annoying, but the flash BIOS makes things a lot easier. Flash BIOS button, flash BIOS socket or USB slot. Finally, we have this build. This is for another customer. This is a CL500, um, also using a, a colorful GTX. Is this a 1660 or the last 3060 Ti? Uh, it's Trifan. Honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> so we had also have an MSI. Oh, this is also an MSI motherboard. Uh, and it also does have the flash BIOS. We carry a lot of MSI MOBOs. Um, is this an X570 Tomahawk Wi-Fi? I don't ah, know, no, sorry, it's a B550 Gaming Edge Wi Fi. So, not the very popular X570 Tomahawk Wi Fi. Just a little bit about this case, the CL500 from Deep Cool. Uh, again, I'm going to start ogling on about the case. I really like the look of this case. It kind of looks like a car, or it looks like HK, the, the, the killer droid from Knights of the Old Republic. Very old game, very excellent game. If you're a Star Wars fan, I suggest you. you Stop watching the stream and go buy Kotor. Uh, excellent, excellent game. Don't let the old graphics um, deter you. Uh, I forget what the, the name of the... You know, before IG-88, the assassin droid from the original trilogy, there was HK-54, 77? I, I forget what numbers HK had. Anyway, this kind of looks like the faceplate of HK. I mean, I really love the grills and then the taper it kind of looks like a car kind of looks like a server from early 2000s but since it's deep cool it already comes with rgb they're quite good about that so i really dig this kind of retro vibe on the cl 500 um front panel is interesting so you got the very clear power button and things like that uh although in fairness cooler master also does a good job i like this kind of hexagon thing they have going on here The grill design aesthetic continues to the top panel, which actually pops out. So why don't we pop this guy out now? Oh, I'm sorry. This actually, this button pops out the, the top panel, and then this is the power button. So, yep, there we go. It popped out. And then you'll see the, you see the easy-to-clean mesh at the bottom. So these kind of pop-out panels have become... Uh, more popular. Sorry, I don't know if you, <laughs> I, you couldn't see it off camera, but uh, a guard was asking me if um, the, one of the building guards was asking about something. Um, so these pop-out panels have become popular, more popular in recent years. So it makes it more convenient. You know, instead of having the like the magnetic panel like this, now you just kind of like slide off to clean it a front panel uh, that pops kind of makes it more feel more premium and like oh like watch this thing pop so i've noticed a lot of case manufacturers have started integrating them into their designs also with the psu shroud here similar to the deep cool matrix 55 um i'm gonna talk a little bit about psu shrouds um to be honest, I come from the time na di pa yun ganun ka uso. 
So <laughs> when we started the shop and then like people were asking me, like, you know, we were selling cases and people were asking me, Sir, may PSU Shroud ba yan? And I'm like, PSU Shroud? What's that? Pero ngayon, um, I know better and uh, I do notice now that a lot of cases have PSU Shrouds. Oh, let me just get my código of the outline that we're gonna be talking about. Okay, guys, I've been away from the chat, so I have no idea what's going on. If you asked anything, uh, terribly sorry. Ah, okay, wait lang. Uh, we actually have customers coming in, even though... Uh, okay, hang on, guys. <laughs> we actually have customers. Uh, yun. Sorry. Um, yeah, so I hope you don't mind. We're live now. Although, naka, naka, ano naman yung... Um, sorry, where are you picking? Uh, yes, uh, I said na ROG. Uh, I said na ROG. Yeah, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this... Uh, what do we have? Black and white? Ano, black and white? Ah, yeah, this is the one. Nakalito naman. Over... Ah, you don't see it? Ah, uh, oh, 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 yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, actually, these guys just came up on one meter. Um, yeah, so... Ah, uh, yes, yes, oh, yeah. Um, uh, so they're brand new. So, so... Ah, uh, uh, sige, sorry. Um, uh, I'll just wave hi to the camera now. Sorry. But you can see you just stop now, man. But usually we're open naman, uh, we're... Oh. All right, guys. So uh, we do have a customer coming in, and he bought one of our new cases, the Lian Lee cases, which actually I was going to talk about a bit later. Um, so wave bye bye to that case in the background because that's going. <laughs> and so I'll just be with you guys. I'll be back in like two minutes. I'll just uh, ring up the sale. Um, anyway, you guys seem to be doing well, naman in the chat. Hello, Leith. Oh, I, I recognize your name. Hey, what's up, man? Okay, I'll be back. Hi, sorry. Hey, you know, those things are super popular. It's hard to get them in stock and it's hard to put them in stock. Paolo. Hello. Uh, with a U? S-A-M-N-G. Sampang. Ah, Sampang. Okay. Paolo Sampang. Sampang. P-A-N-G. A-N. What's your first name? Paolo. Ah, Paolo, Paolo talaga. Uh, P O or P? P O. Oh. Okay. What's your name? Paolo. Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, so it's a. May stock pa ng ano? Uh, LL one twenty na one piece. No, you know um. Actually, if it's ever it's there, but I know we're sold out na. Pero pa check na lang. Alam ko kailan. Or bakat. Well, na lang ating singles eh, but uh, you can check that other stuff na. Ah, uh, uh, that's another thing we've been trying to stop, pero <laughs> really hard. Ah, meron? Ah, uh, black? Ah, uh, sige. Hmm. That's available. Seven two hundred, no? Uh, tapos uh, one. one. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, let me just check the price. Something at the Uh, yeah, so you guys can actually watch the stream later. <laughs> You'll see yourselves. Um, right. Yes, one eight five five. Yeah, the single. Hola, 
Uh, to be honest, we just got recently these guys, yung 3070 na gaming oh. X3 Vento 3XO. Um, yeah, it's uh, very difficult to get. <laughs> How much is uh, 30 Ito si Gaming X mga 40 plus ata 40. and then ito mga 30 uh, 37 maybe. Di pa namin na price they also just came in very recent. But something like that. Do naglalaro. Sorry, 18 Prime 5 just Prime 5 Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh, oh, hero. Oh. Actually, you know Asus um lent us the top 38 Ganda, ganda no performance. Oh. Okay. Uh, if we can, but it's hard to get it. They oh. just sent it as a parang, uh, review unit. So, mm-hmm. yung for actual sale, wala pa, kahit kami, wala rin. Ay. At kami pa daw 3080. 3060. Oh, 3060 Ti. Hey, did they announce a 3080 Ti? Uh, sabi nila, kasabay nila sa... <laughs> I hate about it. Pero wala pang... <laughs> oh. Believe me, if we could get stuck, we would get stuck. <laughs> um, cash or card? Cash. Okay. 1308085. Yeah. Ah, uh, here na lang, sorry, para wag naman ang camera. Para. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Uh, since you guys are here, you wanna hi? Uh, <laughs> 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 since you guys are here, now, nah, I'm um, just speaking to the. Ah wait, let's see what the audience. Is. All right, so yeah, you can stand here. So our customer will just say, "Since nandito na rin siya, mag shout out siya. <laughs> Perks of uh, no, joining the stream. <laughs> hi, thank you, Hardware Sugar. Very nice shop, number one. <laughs> All right, guys, take it out. I'm going to help him to the car. I'll be back.
All right, we're back. Um, Hardware Sugar is a shop <laughs> for, you know, marami sa audience, uh, they only know us because of the YouTube channel. And then nagugulat sila na we're actually a shop. <laughs> we actually sell computer parts. Nauna talaga actually yung shop. And we only came up with the YouTube channel kasi niisip namin na it's free marketing. Why not? And we like talking about computer stuff anyway. So, um... Why not have a YouTube channel where we talk about those things? Pero yung nandami na gugulat na uh, may shop pala kayo or san po yung shop niyo or things like that. Um, this is actually the first time that a customer has walked in. <laughs> usually, I mean, on the stream, walked in on the stream. Because usually, um, I do the streams later, like sarado na yung shop mga four, four thirty. But today, kasi may lakad ako after this, so we decided to do it early. And also, our staff was usually in the store on a Sunday, um, asked to have the day off, and I said no problem, so the store was really closed. Um, but as you saw, um, we're very easy to talk to, no problem. Um, he actually bought, the customer bought one of the Lian Lee cases that we were going to talk about, but we still have one, the O11 Dynamic XL ROG. He got the black edition. Uh, we still have the white one, and it also got a fan. So let me just close up, and then I'll get back to the stream. All right, so get back on track. I mentioned ITX Addict is one of our YouTube members. And as I mentioned at the start of the stream, we actually have a scheduled ITX build for tomorrow. So the H10i, this is actually black. The thing with the NCXT cases, they have just the same front. And this is true for the F10, uh, the, the 510, sorry, the 210, the 710. They all look like this, even though their actual color is here on the side. So this is the black version of this case. But NTXT doesn't bother shipping, you know, changing the the packaging to reflect the color. So they just stick it on via sticker here at the back. So it's kind of confusing sometimes doing shop inventory. And you think you have white, and you think, oh, why is white? Or why is there nothing white? And then pala, uh, black, siya, white, and things like that. Although uh, NDXC only has two colors, right? Black and white. Um, you'd think it would be easier lang for them na gumawa ng packaging na black. But anyway. So this is an ITX build. Usually lots of people get really excited when they start, oh no, ooh, ITX build. Um, so you do have an ITX mobile. Here we have the MSI B550i. We did have an X570 Oros i, I think. But... Um, one one customer who hasn't picked it up yet, and I believe he's still in the chat now, bought that. And so I was like, you know, I thought we had more ITX MOBOs. How come this is the only one left? Uh, but then I remembered that somebody had already bought the Aorus uh, MOBO. Um, pretty good build. Uh, M.2 from Samsung, always the most reliable SSD brand, 1TB. Comes at a price premium. Um, you're buying the reliability and, you know, sort of like... The cash, I mean, when, when you say Samsung, parang automatic, good yan, quality yan. Um, R53600X, Trident Z Neo. If you're getting AMD build, you do want to get the Neo version of G Skill of the Tridents because the Neo is supposedly optimized for Ryzen based on the you know, marketing of G Skill. Um, can you still use the regular Trident Z, the non-Neo version in AMD builds? Yes, you can, and we have tried them out before. Although, yung nga, again, uh, sinasabi ni G-Skill na naka-optimize na si Neo for Ryzen builds. 1660 Ti, specifically for an ITX uh, build. Some cases, like the H210i, actually allow cards that are not ITX. Um... You know, they're large enough to fit a non-ITX card or a regular size card. But that's the thing with ITX builds. You really need to pick your parts carefully because um, the space is really a consideration. Nor normal things you wouldn't have to think about. You need to think about very well for an ITX build, like the measurements of particular parts. And finally, I think the... You know the cherry on this particular cake or ice cream sundae is the Kraken Z63, which I mentioned before has the LCD display. 
Question, can a 240, oh sorry, this is a 280mm rad, or this AIO has a 280mm rad, so that's two 140 fans. Can this fit in the 210i? Yes, <laughs> supposedly according to the internet, people have done builds like that. And it does say here in the specifications na clearance, radiator, oh man. The front allows two 140 mm fans. So the things I've seen online are like, yeah, Sky naman, uh, you can get a 280 mm rad here in the front. Um, so hopefully that won't be a problem in tomorrow's build. But we'll see. <laughs> uh, hopefully that won't be a problem. Uh, but you know, according to the internet, people have done it before. Na na Napasok nila yung 280mm rad dito sa harap. This is a similar problem to what we had with the H510i, the build of which is on our YouTube channel, where, you know, a lot of, uh, sorry, it's the 510 Elite. The 510 Elite, and then they want, uh, the customer wanted, I think it was an X53 or X63, so that's a 240mm rad or a 280mm rad. And a lot of people say na hindi yun kaya, hindi yun kaya. Pero actually kaya. You do trade off some cooling performance because you can't put the fans on the rad and keep the nice RGB fans in front. So you want to keep the nice RGB fans in front because that's the whole point of the 510 Elite. Um, so you need to get rid of the radiator fans. Um, yes. But it is possible. Jeremy from YouTube asks, do you need a graphic designer for graphic thumbnails? Thank you, but we actually do have a full-time uh, graphics editor already. We actually have employed her for a very long time already, since even before the YouTube channel. And she has not only, she doesn't only do the graphics, she also learned how to edit as well. So she's very helpful sa, as our editor. But uh, thank you for offering. Um... And who knows, maybe in the future when, you know, we do a lot of graphics work for the shop and for the YouTube channel, maybe in the future we will be hiring. Um, all right, next up are the Lian Lee cases. Uh, the guy you just saw like 15 minutes ago got one of these guys, the O11 Dynamic XL. This is the ROG version. Um, there's, a, there's an RGB strip here, I believe, which is um, slightly different from the uh, the first O11, O11D or the first O11 Dynamics. This is the white version. We only have one left in stock. The other one was the black version, and that sold out. Lian Li is very popular. We also have the Lian the Lancool 2 Mesh. This comes with RGB, mesh, uh, front, and we also have it in white and black. And aside from the Landcool 2 mesh, we have the... Ah, we have this guy. This is actually the Ugly Duckling. I wouldn't say ug Ugly Duckling, but this is the... I don't know if you can see it on cam. The Landcool 215. It's not... Ah, here. Landcool 215. It's not as popular as the mesh. Everybody goes nuts over the Landcool mesh. Everybody goes nuts over the O11 Dynamic. Uh, we've had this 215 in stock for a little while, and you know we don't get a lot of questions about it. But actually, it's pretty good quality. The Lilian Lee quality is still there. Um, the thermals are also good, and it looks good. Um, and it just emphasizes the the thing with selling computer stuff. It's really like. 90% of the stuff you sell are the super popular items. Like those MOBOs there, the X570 Tomahawk Wi-Fi and MSI, super popular. The, these Kraken guys, super popular. Um, and it's a challenge for us as a shop to have the popular items, the quality, na maganda, but at the same time having these uncommon items that you know a lot, that not a lot of people are looking for, but we think are interesting, uh, we think are cool. One of those, oh, well, other ITX cases that we've used a lot of, um, the A1 Plus. This is a kind of mainstream, actually. Di naman to like, whoa. <laughs> like, san, san yung galing? We do have some custom liquid water cooling kits. Excuse me. Sorry. If you are interested in uh, doing custom water cooling. Personally, I want to try it, pero natatakot ako um, 
with custom water cooling because you have to get everything right. Otherwise, you know, bad news for your computer if there's water and things like that um, in your system. This is a shop in. It's like a small in win case. And this is like one of the things I was talking about. Na we try to stock unusual items as well. Very few people will be looking for this shop in, but um, it does sell. Um, and it's for super small, like it's an ITX build. But you notice ITX din yung 210i, pero ang laki niya compared to the shop in. So the IT, there's a lot of variance in the ITX um, sizing. This is also uh, the. TU-150, I just bought it or I just stocked it because it's cool. Niya. It's a small ITX case from Lian Li. It does have a handle, so it brings you back to the days of your LAN parties or yung, oh, I need to bring my computer over to my friends and you know we're going to set up a LAN and things like that. Um, again, not, uh, you, know, you don't have people like ask, you know, breaking down the door asking, oh, may TU-150 ba kayo? Ganito, ganyan. Pero yun nga, um, I thought it looked good, uh, good performance. Uh, it will be useful to somebody. So we stocked a couple. Um, this is the, I think we got all the colors we got are the silver. So we do have some Liandi cases in stock. If you notice, we also have lots of NZXT cases. Because it's so hard to find an NZXT case. So I decided, what the heck, let's go crazy and let's stock um, all of our usual NZXT cases, like the 510, 510i. Uh, and the 510 elites are there, you know, underneath the table. What's the difference between the 510 and the 510i? The i comes with the smart device V2 of NZXT. And that lets you control some of the RGB fans. Sorry, let me rephrase. That allows you to control the current RGB fans of NZXT. That's the AER2. But... The channel space is limited, so actually, if you want to add even more fans, the best way is to get the triple pack, which is again sold out. We've been trying to get it for months. Sorry, I haven't turned it on for this one. But this is the NZXT triple pack, and then it comes with this controller. Um, the smart device V2 is like this, but that has like only two channels. I think this has four. So if you really want to go bling bling on your NZXT case, you will need, even if you get the 510i. You will need um, the triple pack like this with the control hub because the the channels on the the smart device V2, which comes with the i series, uh, is quite limited. All right. Well, we were talking about tridents, and here's the the tridents in action. These are these are not Neo, and you notice these are regular tridents. They're not. They're not the Trident Z Neo, they're just Trident Z, but this is an AMD system and it's working very well. All right, so I said in my outline, the next thing to talk about are the RTX cards. Um, still really difficult to get, but we do have a Gaming X Trio 3070 and the Ventus with triple fans, also 3070. Not in stock, but I wish we could get is the Asus Stuff 3080, which I... Asus was kind enough to lend it to us, and we've been uh, we just posted a review on it yesterday. I had a lot of fun playing around with that thing, and it's really performance. Like, <laughs> wala masabe. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, just catching up on the just catching up on the comments. Um, all right, so we do have the 3070s in stock. Not yet on the site, but we will. Uh, it should be up by tonight. All right, next up is how long have we been streaming? Because we did take a break uh, when the customer came in. Oh, about an hour already. Okie dokie. Um, next up, I want to talk about is the... All right. Asus also lent us... Uh, Zen Wi-Fi routers, which I've been excited to try out. And actually, now it's the battle between the Ubiquiti Dream Machine, which you see on screen. This one I bought for myself. And the Ubiquiti is this capsule-looking uh, router. And it's really nice-looking. Yung tipong Apple product, yung aesthetic. It looks really nice. Um, it's very different from the kind of stealth bomber, spiky designs that you see in a lot of 
performance routers. The Ubiquiti is soft, it's rounded, it looks nice, it even emits a little beep when it connects to the internet. Um, so I bought this for myself, the Ubiquiti Dream Machine. Um, there just for scale, that's my salt lamp in the background and then the Ubiquiti in the foreground. Uh, but since ASUS was kind enough to lend us the ASUS Wi-Fi Zen uh, Mini, these guys, so they sent us two, the two pod version. Um, I'm trying out now the Zen Wi-Fi, and actually, medyo na inis ako sa Ubiquiti. Kasi parang yung Zen Wi-Fi has better Wi-Fi range, and everything just works. Um, uh, ang daming mga bells and whistles ni Ubiquiti Dream Machine, but at the end of the day, parang I just want it to work. Like, I want to plug in the router, and I want to be able to surf no problem, stream no problem, game no problem. Like, I don't need to know, like, napaka ilang menus, layers of QoS, and uh, AI adaptive um, Wi Fi signals, like, you know, the 2.4 frequency and the 5 hertz frequency. Um, and Ubiquity has all of those options, but at the end of the day, parang I didn't feel na it added value for money. Mm. So, I'm still trying out the Asus Zen Wi Fi, but the preliminary answer is they're very good. Um, and we'll have a full review maybe in like in the next two weeks or so. Nico Logdat um, from YouTube, uh, another familiar name. And may salt lamp din siya. Uh, I've had mine for years. Like, college pa ata ako. Um, I do like the glow. I got it because supposedly tumutulang siya sa allergies. I have. Before, I used to have very bad allergy. Like, I would sneeze all the time. Um, and I got it in the hopes that that would help. Actually, it's not long, But I kept it anyway because it's very pretty to look at. Um, Gadget, Gadgetaholic says he loves his Asus Tough 3090. Tana all. <laughs> uh, I wish I... Ano, I hope the Asus guy is watching. How many you guys have sent me an Asus Tough 3090? How much is the... Asus Zen Wi-Fi. Um, I don't know actually. I haven't seen the SRP, but I'll include it in the review. Uh, Nico, yes, your name is familiar. Uh, I, I think you you've commented before, or I've seen you in the live stream. So yes, I do actually read all of the comments, or like 99% of the comments on the YouTube channel and um, in the chats. Although not as frequent in the chats because you I. I uh, some of the shows, ako lang magisa, so it's hard to, um, it's hard to keep following up, um, like following the chats. But John Ruben Ocha, who is a top fan, I uh, I also remember your name, um, because I say it after every video, <laughs> it's just part of the top fans uh, perks. He says he bought the RT AX eighty six U. Yes, I love that router. Uh, we reviewed it for ASUS, um, but no. Without bias, I can say that it's a very good router. And John Ruben agrees. He says no regrets. Um, that's the one where parang stealth bomber yung dating. The aesthetic is very triangular and sharp edges. Pero sobrang ganda ng performance and it's basically plug and play. Like you don't need to, uh, you don't need to worry about it. Just stick it in and everything works. Rafael from YouTube, not Rocky the programmer, asked, do you recommend access points? You can. Uh, I do if you have the budget. And I hope Hardware Sugar comes up with a video soon regarding that. Because um, for most people, they just have one router and hopefully that extends to their entire residence. Abot na yan yung second floor, first floor, garage, etc. If you want to extend that Wi-Fi, then you get something like the Zen Wi-Fi, the A, which has mesh capability. Or the Google Wi-Fi, which also has mesh capability, available through PLDT. But I personally do not recommend uh, Google Wi-Fi. I, have, I had it. That was my main router for several years. Um... But in the end, it kind of failed on me. And that's also, I mentioned that in the RTAX 86U review. But for those of you, uh, yung mga maswerte na maka-afford, these access points are more like hotel settings. So you have a switch and then there's a main router, but the access points all connect to the switch and then they distribute. They physically you know, scatter them all throughout your residence, your business, your house, so that you can... Um, it's it's like it's like mesh, pero um, there's a lot more work involved because usually they're wired. Um, so you have to thread the wires through the through your through your roof and things like that, and they pop out on the switch mo. 
Um, so there are pros and cons to going the access point approach. And um, actually, we do have access to one such house that uses them. And hopefully, um, we can uh, make a video on that soon. Gadget Gadgetaholic asks, how much is the Z73? Um, it is... 10,100. Um, 360 rad. Zamuj from YouTube asks, uh, are we going to venture into custom keyboards as a trend? Um, yes, actually, we do want to. Um, we've made preliminary inquiries already, but um, we're still looking for a good manufacturer for the keycaps. But yes, that is something uh, we do want to explore. If you have a contact that makes good keycaps, please email us actually, hardware-sugar at gmail.com. Uh, we'd definitely be interested. Um, and in line with that, we've actually been thinking about uh, coming out with our own merchandise lines. So um, t-shirts, maybe refrigerator magnets, car magnets, uh, things like that. Um, but we prioritize the YouTube membership first. So we that is now uh, up and running. Uh, we to give out the perks and things like that. Um, but the merch, maybe um, second half of this year, maybe June or something. To be honest, there's there's always so much work for the shop and for the YouTube channel. Na. There, we always have a lot of ideas that takes a bit of time to implement because it's a lot of stuff. And even just running the day-to-day -day of the shop, making sure that we have inventory in the shop so that we can sell, um, uh, it takes up a lot of time. Plus, we're trying to do something that uh, very soon we're we're gonna we're going to announce a major upgrade to Pede Magtanong. Uh, Master M, thank you for answering some questions here on YouTube. How much is the X53? Um, actually, all of our prices, guys, are on our site, hwsugar.ph. Um, the X53 is um, ah here seven five four nine. Yep. Ah okay. Since I, since I started talking about the site, um, alongside the site, we have what we call our candy portal. And the, the candy portal started out as a way for people to earn points. So we're like national, we're like Mercury Drug. Every time you buy from us, you earn candy points. The conversion is every 250 pesos um, gets you one candy point. One candy point is equal to one peso discount on your future purchase. Or... You can actually convert it to Steam credit. The screenshot I showed, uh, which is on screen now, is ito yung Candy Portal. Kung mag uh, sign up ka sa Candy Portal namin, this is what you will see. And you know, there's an option nga there to redeem the Candy Points for discount, but you can also convert it to Steam Points. So we don't lock you in. Uh, we appreciate your business. We want you to enjoy. So you can actually use our Candy Points to get Steam credit, which you can use to buy basically any game in the world, or you know, 99% of the games out there. Um, just our way of thanking you guys, and you know, as gamers ourselves, as yung mahilig din sa computer, na isip namin like, what would we want to do? Um, like, you know, what kind of uh, loyalty program would we want? And that's what we came up with. Something na hindi lang nakalock in sa hardware sugar. Pero makatulong din kung gamer ka. Um, and I bring up the Candy Portal because we recently added new features to it na mas useful na siya for everybody. Number one is the wish list. We get a lot of people na, Sir, out of stock pala yung... Um, what's a cool thing that's out of stock now? The, let's say an RTX 3070. I want the MSI RTX 3070. Out of stock pala kayo. Uh, but we had it before. So with the Candy Portal, you can just select that particular item and automatic na siya sa system namin. If you get, uh, if we get it back in stock, magiging available siya sa amin and then you get a notification. So it's like how wish lists um, or liked items or saved items work on Lazada or on Amazon. Um, and this is much better for us kasi lahat automated na, hindi na manual. Ang hirap-hirap ng mano-mano na, ay, si Mr. X nag-request pag in stock na si... Uh, Ryzen 5 5600. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, well, see, whatever. 5700 XT. Um, and then, you know, if manual, we needed to track that one by one. But now, everything is automated. Thank you, Rocky the Programmer. Sobrang, you know, this is super useful. Um, the customer will get it basically in real time. Pag na pasok na namin sa inventory na, oh, itong 5700, 5700, 
<laughs> Excuse me. Itong 5700XT, may dalawang in stock. You will get a notice um, that it's in stock so you can buy it right away. Uh, request an item. So one thing that we've done from the very beginning of the shop is allow custom orders. We don't have the item. We've never had the item. But you want the item. We got your back. We will try as much as possible to hunt down that item. So ito yung custom orders. And again, sobrang hirap nito dati na imano mano You know, you'd have people emailing, Facebook, text, um, YouTube comments. I mean, it's so hard to keep track. And then how, let's say nga, dumating yung nag-request ka nung, uh, uh, what's that cougar case that I like? The cougar conquer. Let's say nag-request ka ng cougar conquer na case sa YouTube. And we, we, you know, we say, okay. And then finally it comes in. And we're like, pucha, YouTube comment pala yun. How are we gonna get back to him and tell him na available pala siya? That's why now all of the custom order requests are through the candy portal. So we already have your details. It's super easy to keep track of. And um, it makes things very streamlined. So we can get you your item faster. If we can get it, we'll let you know. And then sometimes we ask for a down payment. Sometimes hindi. Um, so this way through the candy portal, na nakadaan na sa candy portal, it's much easier to keep track of the wish lists and the uh, custom request items. And finally, we just gave the GP, the graphics, the UI a little overhaul. Now, yung candy points, pwede mo tingnan, like, bakit tumaas yung candy points? Ah, kasi bumali ako nito. And then, bakit bumaba? Ah, kasi uh, ginamit ko yung candy points, either as discount or as conversion to Steam credit and things like that. So that's number three, the update to our candy portal. Uh, yes, so I do let me just um take you to the back. So this is our stock room where we keep stock and where the reserved items are oh yeah, okay. Open this guy up. As uh, some of you know we're big fans of we we're very big on not being wasteful, so May mga ibang items na hindi namin binebenta as brand new, even though brand new talaga sila. Cosmetic lang yung damage sa box kasi may Lazada customer. Uh, as you know, you if you're familiar <laughs> with our Facebook and our YouTube, we uh, we often uh, detail our troubles with um, customers from Lazada and Shopee. Um, so, binalik nila yung item, tapos bugbug na yung box. Pero brand new pa, hindi naman nila ginamit. So we have a list, we call it our special discounted list, and there we show na, um, so we sell those items at a discount, and other items that we get in stock na either secondhand or things like that. So this is one of them. Um, this is the Radeon 5700 XT, Aoros 5700 XT. So the story behind this guy is that we have a customer, he bought a whole rig from us, then he upgraded the graphics card. Actually, this card he didn't get from us. Um, but he was like, can you help me sell it? And so we're, you know, we're always on the lookout for these good secondhand items, um, and he's selling it at a good price. So we're like, yeah, so this is in store now, and you can get it secondhand. It does come, since it's not our, yeah, blog style. It's not our item, so it doesn't come with the hardware sugar warranty, but it does come with a two month personal warranty from the customer. And again, we feel comfortable doing this because we know the guy, he's straight up. Um, we don't anticipate any problems if we sell this unit. So um, that's something that we're also doing as well. Um, selecting secondhand items and then selling it, you know. We're just like the go-between. We don't get any commission or things like that. But just because we believe in getting a good quality, getting a good quality secondhand item is actually um, very good for the budget, and uh, it can really help some builders out. I myself use secondhand stuff all the time or as much as possible. So we do have a 5700 XT in the back, secondhand, uh, used only like two months at that, and. That is in our discounted link. Alright, so I'm gonna end off with... Nakalampas na ako ng one hour? Yes, one hour. 
one hour and five minutes. So uh, I'll just say uh, a little bit about the YouTube membership because that's that's a new thing that we've done this year. Um, so it's like a subscription. You can either pay 50 pesos and you're a super sub or 500 pesos a month and you're a top fan. And basically we've tried to make, uh, mag- you know, uh, namin, just like the candy portal, na maganda naman yung mga perks. So for all members, you get advanced notice. Everything you see around me, the, the members, our YouTube members get advanced notice na dumating sila in the shop. All of our items, you will get advanced notice that we're, we're getting them. So that you can plan. Let's say, oh, ah, may parating pala si Hardware Sugar na 6,000 series na AMD. Uh, you know, I can hold off and then I can wait for that. If you're a top fan, you can even reserve. And that's really the holy grail. Um, before, walang, it was very hard to reserve items. And even, what I mean by reserve is, even before we announce it to the public, we'll offer it to you before everybody else. Kasi yung wish list public na yun eh. We list an items available, lalabas na yun sa website. You just get uh ahead you're ahead of the crowd kasi you get the notice, pwede ka na bumili ka agad uh through the website. So it's still like open to the public. Itong sa top fans, uh that's the holy grail. You can reserve items uh, and we will offer them to you before they before we make them public. So kumbaga may first dibs ka on everything that we get. Uh that's the top fans perk. And also, we say your name. Uh, we say thank you at the end of every major uh, episode or video on YouTube. But actually, we saved a lot of the cool perks, I think, for the super subs. Or, you know, we put a lot of cool subs in the... We put a lot of cool perks for the super subs. So it's like advanced notice of incoming stock. They get advanced uh, preview of the videos. They watch... They can watch our videos beforehand, before they're available to the public. <coughs> Excuse me. And they get access to emojis, they get access to badges, they get... Um, we have polls where we ask them, oh, you know, we're thinking of doing these three or four different videos. Um, which one do you want us to do first? So they can vote in those kind of polls. And lastly, because we we take your money seriously. I mean, if you sign up for the YouTube membership, we're going to put that money to make the site bet the the channel better. So we're only going to use it for channel expenses. Uh, hindi ko gagamitin pang bakasyon, kailangan ko ng bagong kotse, and things like that. So we'll actually account every time that we use the every time we use the U- the money from the YouTube membership that generated by the YouTube membership. We're going to post and it's open to all members na uh, we bought a new mic. Somebody recently mentioned on YouTube that the lighting in the shop. Um, I agree. It's very unflattering. <laughs> um, I I want to get that subdued look that's very uso with the YouTubers. But again, I'm not uh, not very artsy when it comes to these video things. But yeah, we might spend them on lights or things like that. But basically, everything generated by the YouTube membership will be used for the YouTube channel. And para sigurado yon, we will post to the members. Like, may accounting talaga. Um, because we believe that you're giving it to us for this purpose and gagamitin talaga namin for that purpose. Castor from YouTube asks, are you going to restock mid-range GPUs? Um, what's mid-range now? <laughs> like, 3070 nung 3000? Um, basically, any 3000 series. If we can get it, we'll restock it. 2000 series, yes, we will try to get like maybe 2060 Super, 2070 Super. Um, and we're actually still carrying a lot of the 1600s as well. Um, for AMD, we want to get the 6000 series. We probably won't restock the 5000 series GPUs unless there's a special request from a customer. Uh, Anthony from YouTube, yes. Um, we... Uh, medyo <laughs> Um Actually, and to be honest, because we're still a small shop, so we don't have the money to buy a lot. It's not like we buy kami nung sampung bente na thirty eighty, uh, na thirty ninety. Ay nakakalula. Na naiyak ako every time bumibili ako nung uh, ng maramihan from our suppliers, because ang mahal talaga. Ang sakit talaga sa <laughs> You know, like I'm in a bad mood the whole day after I buy like these ton of cases and things like that. Because it's ang mahal. Um, 
and you know, people just see the prices on the shop and they think, oh, laki siguro ng kita and things like that. Pero sa, to- sa totoo lang, hindi. <laughs> the income is very small. The the ROI is very small. Tapos, iniikot mo lang yun. Um, you put it so that you can get more parts and more stock. And then the prices just keep going up. So, <laughs> um, we are a small shop and it's hard for us to compete with the inventory number and size of the big boys. Talagang piling pili yung stock namin. Um, that is why also um, why we don't have as much stock as the big boys. And no ubus talaga kagad yung stock namin, kasi we can't afford na naka ipon lang siya sa shop. They need to be able to. Uh, kailangan mabilis yung turnaround, kasi kung hindi, wala na kami pambili para dun sa bagong parts. And it's always, uh, you know, it's always tricky trying to figure out like. Bago tong item, gusto ko ba i-stock? Paano kung hindi na benta? Pero paano kung mabenta naman? Di dapat marami. Pero kung marami, wala na budget para sa ibang mga parts. Um, and uh, to be honest, that's why we don't have a lot of monitors. Because monitors sell kind of slow and they're quite expensive. <laughs> it's not like the Krakens over here na when we buy the Krakens, we can be sure maubos talaga yan. Kasi, you know, NZXT is hot. Uh, hot in the good sense, not hot in the sense na mainit yung thermals nila. Um... So, yeah, I've talked about it a little bit before in other other live streams and our other videos. Na it it's hard. It's really a balancing act because we are a small shop and we it's always a gamble. Parang nagsusugalan talaga kami na oh, ito um ito mabenta ba to and mabilis ba yung turn around so we can buy new stuff also. So uh, one way that you can help us out, uh, and I do tackle it in the video, like, di ba weird? Nag humingi kayo ng YouTube membership, pero shop naman kayo, nagbebenta naman kayo ng PC parts. Kung baga may income stream naman kayo. Uh, but I do tackle there why um, it would be super helpful, and I'm super thankful for the support of YouTube members. Um, why and how the YouTube membership can really greatly impact the channel. Uh, so that's there in the video. Um, on the channel if you want to take a look. M. Carlos says, do we have a weekly uh, live stream? We don't have weekly, but we do have regular shows every month. We have four of them now. It's um, Pwede Magtanong. So that's four of us uh, taking your tech questions live. And then it's In The Shop, which we do once a month. Uh, we're live from Hardware Sugar. We also have In The Industry. That's the third show. We try to interview people dito sa PC industry natin, local scene. So we've had professional gamers. We've had um, hardware brands like Patag and Player One. We've had organizers like um, the we interviewed the person behind ESGS, which is the biggest um, gaming PC convention thing every year. Um, and lastly, the other show that we've added just starting last month is um, uh, Media Diet. Um, hindi naman siya PC related, where I and my friends just talk about like. The stuff that we played, watched, and read in the past month. Um, kumbag, yung nga, media diet. Um, so we do have those four shows, and we do each show at least once a month. Uh, John Borbon from YouTube says, pa shout out, pa shout out, more power, thank you. Um, more power to you as well. Doming TV, pa shout out, shout out, Doming TV. Um, Chinese characters or Japanese characters, so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. But, he or she says, I've been following you guys recently. I'll definitely upgrade on your shop. Um, thank you very much um, for considering us. And we do hope to see you in the shop because that is the lifeblood. Um, our shop motto, even before we were in this bigger place, um, for those of you who have been following us for a long time, you know that we actually moved from a very, very small place. Ang liit ng first shop namin. Parang closet, parang closet size. Yung arm span ko mas malawak pa kaysa sa size ng shop na yun. Um, so, but our motto ever since we started the shop, even when we were in that small space, is that cool parts for cool people. And really, the best way to support us in that mission is to buy from the shop um, and to buy the and to join us, uh, join the YouTube membership. Um, if you have extra budget, I do mention in the video that, that it's not for everybody and we super are very thankful even for the comments and the likes and the shares and things like that. Um, and 
I do mention cool parts of cool people, and some people, <laughs> I always do this on the live streams. Um, parang some people get inis na why are I don't know. Um, we we get like 99% of our customers are cool, and I, I that's why I remember your names, the people I see on YouTube, the people who come in, because um, I like talking to you guys like about PC hardware and just hanging out, hanging out in the shop and things like that. But we do get a one percent that is kind of very kind of annoying and very demanding, high maintenance. And so for those guys who I wouldn't consider cool people, um, it's very. You don't need to buy from us. <laughs> Sasakit lang ulo namin. Um, baka you'll find better customer service. I doubt it, but you might elsewhere. So I really do mean that. Cool parts for cool people. Um, if you're the kind na mabilis mainis, uh, very high strung, has unrealistic expectations, um, other shops, you'd probably have a better experience from other shops. Because we really do mean that when we say cool parts for cool people. Shout out, Mark Lewis. Royola from YouTube. Uh, Anthony Bustamante asks, how come the prices haven't dropped? Very good question. Uh, it's a combination of high demand and production shortages. Korean name, also I can't say it, um, from YouTube. May balang, can you make a reaction video about the Verge PC build? Uh, I have seen it already and I actually have gotten this request before, but um, I always see that this request. Uh, hindi ko kaya. Uh, <laughs> we've never done a reaction video because for me, they seem a little. Um, kailangan para interesting. Sobrang OA nung expression. Like, oh my god, oh, but yun. Uh, and I am. Uh, to be honest, hindi man ako, <laughs> uh, I don't have the acting skills. <laughs> I don't have the acting skills to, um, to pretend. Like, because in person, I'm a very chill kind of guy. Um, people who know me, I'm not very excitable. I mean, I get excited, but hindi yung levels of. Holy Jesus! And ano ba ginawa mo? And bakit ang dami thermal paste yan? And or or like yung na, na excited ako nung si uh, Henry Cavill made his own uh, uh, building video. But hindi rin naman ako like agog na like oh my God it's The Witcher and oh my God it's Superman and he's uh, building a video and um so that's my that's my problem with it. I wouldn't do a good reaction video because para masaya naman para interesting it has to be really over the top and uh, um. Uh, a bit like OA, and uh, I, I have difficulty channeling that energy. But maybe in the future, or baka yung utol ko, who also does a lot of our YouTube channels, and he's uh, my co-founder here at Hardware Sugar. Maybe si Rafael gusto mag uh, reaction video. I I'll ask him about it. <laughs> Luigi from YouTube says, I'm really amused and look forward to your customer rant posts. Yes, um, Facebook. Uh, we usually post it on Facebook, not in on the YouTube community channel page, but... Um, we call them head scratchers, where sometimes mapapakamut ka talaga ng ulo, and you really wonder like what some people are thinking. Um, and again, a lot of people have gotten annoyed with me, because ako yon. Um, nobody else is to blame. Ako lang talaga nag screenshot non, ako nag post non. Madalas 99% of the time, ako rin ka usap nila non. Um, and I do post them on Facebook uh, under the head scratchers. Um, uh, es, may nagagalit na hindi mo dapat ginagaran customers mo um, horrible customer service actually <laughs> recently lang like two weeks ago I haven't posted this yet but um, I said three words man three words um, and sobrang innocuous sobrang innocent sobrang innocent na mga three words na yun. basically it's like yes true and something but like very innocent words tapos na na label na kami as bad customer service Literally, all I had to say was three words, and then na label na kami as bad customer service. Um, so that's my that's my record. That's my new record. And you can see, uh, you know, I, I really don't care. <laughs> um, I, I really find it funny. Uh, that's why I am quite proud, actually. Now, three in three words, na na I was able to elicit or na label na kami as bad customer service. So I will post about that one day on Head Scratchers. I did take a screenshot. <laughs> um, uh, and again, I I think yun nga, sobrang grabe naman. Uh, three words and then bad customer service na kami. Um, so again, cool parts for cool people. If you're not chill, if you're not relaxed, please just buy elsewhere. Um, and we thank you for not um, not not buying from us. Uh, Lionel Sioko from Facebook, um, also another um, very familiar name. I um, hope uh, 3070 would have lower prices in June. That is the hope. 
Um, but honestly, I could not say. Um, I, I really don't know. Uh, uh, Domeng TV asks if you have a generic PSU. Um, is it okay if you have an AVR? Sure. Uh, it's better than nothing. Although, as I pointed out in our YouTube video, again, it's on the channel, um, AVRs don't really help you as much as you think they do. And it's not really something that, that you need... Um, <laughs> that you really need to consider. Sushi, who also a very familiar name uh, from the YouTube comments, um, animated. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if you were saying I was animated, because I do get animated when I talk about the customers, or um, that I meant animated, but yeah. Um, uh, you do need to be animated uh, when you're doing a reaction video. All right, guys. I gotta go because I do may lakad pa ako, which is why I did um, uh, live from the shop early. Uh, Ken Reyes from Facebook asks, I bought a GPU from your shop. Just curious because I broke a new seal, but GPU though looks brand new. And yes, actually, we get this all the time. Those are brand new. We don't open them. The suppliers open them. This is true for the RAM. And so let me just show you our HyperX RAM. Quality seal, open. Quality seal, open. Hi, uh, and that's true also of the other stuff in the back. It's for one reason is the the suppliers open it before they send it to us because they want to make sure that totoo yung item sa loob. So that walang babalik sa kanila and then sabihin nila na, oh sir, bumili ako nung 3,200 megahertz na RAM pero yung dumating 2.6. Para masabi ng supplier na, de, nung, nung pinadala namin sa'yo, 3.2 yun. And you'll notice the seal is really cut here. Again, uh, see that on camera. Again, that's not us. That is the supplier. And um, the gigabyte stuff. Our supplier, mahilig sila. Yun. If you open up this box, uh, it's in a ESD bag, the electrostatic bag. Um, and then you'll notice there, you sometimes the... the let's just open it up. Sometimes the seal there on the bag is also broken again because it's the supplier and not us. And I'm a little annoyed because you know there's so many things that hindi namin kasalanan. But since customers interact with the shop, not with the supplier, then they think na kasalanan ni Hardware Sugar. Yeah, ito very clear, de ba? Parang di mo maintindihan kung you notice the the tape there kind of coming off already. Again. As God is my witness, this is the first time I'm opening this GPU. We don't usually open items when they come into the shop. Um, but again, it's from the suppliers. But definitely brand new yan. Um, again, uh, I swear <laughs> on all things holy that these are brand new parts. Because when they're not brand new, we will tell you. Um, like we do on our secondhand link um, page. We put it there in the descriptions. Um... And that's one thing I take very seriously is honesty. Because a lot of people are worried na maloko sila ng mga shops. And we're always, always, always very upfront um, with, the, with the customers. Like the status of the items and things like that. Ken Reyes does confirm na um, it was a gigabyte uh, GPU. We do get a lot. We do, we do get that a lot with the gigabyte supplier. Again, it's kind of annoying. But um, yun nga, it's out of our control. So, uh, okay, just two last questions, guys. Uh, Nico from YouTube asks, uh, bakit po available yung some products on website, pero sa Shopee and Lazada hindi? Because we are pri trying to prioritize now our own website, so direct sales instead of Laz and Shopee. Because Laz and Shopee customers, to be honest, have a higher rate of failure, like they just send the item back for no reason. They also have a higher rate of being less techy and then being very demanding when we try to explain how to actually use the part. Working yung part 100%, pero yun nga, hindi nila, ma, hindi nila mapagana. And that's okay, we'll walk you through it. Yung problema, sinisisi na kaagad yung shop na, oi, binenta mo, sira. In fact, parang ganito. <laughs> just, just now, I sold, we sold this a few days ago to a Shopee client. This is the MDesk F1. It has USB panels here on the side on the side. And the client the customer is asking me na, but hindi gumagana yung panels. And I'm like, you need to plug in the USB from the desk to the computer. And then the ports on the desk will work. But you know, it it's difficult. I guess she's not too techy kasi um she plugged in. <laughs> she 
uh, she plugged she took the cable then she used it to plug it to her phone and then to a charger or something i was, I was very confused <laughs> um so yeah and that's we were that's why we're trying to prioritize now the uh website direct sales from us unfortunately walang cod sorry i'm scratching my foot um walang cod sa website that is something that we are looking to add maybe later this year all right and the last question uh, Christopher Tejada asks, the bigger for the fans, the better. Kaiser or the answer to not necessarily. Um, it's true that not necessarily. Actually, I saw a YouTube review on this that said it's more about the quality of the fan. Like a good quality 120mm fan will beat out a cheap 140mm fan. So sometimes it's not the size, but it's how you use it or uh, the quality of the device in question. Rem, Liana from YouTube, a shout out. And all right, guys, I really got to go. Thanks so much for joining us for In The Shop. Um, sorry for the initial delay. Um, streaming to YouTube was not working. I had to restart OBS, but not, then it worked. Um, sorry for the customer who came in. Um, so we had a slight delay also. Um, but customer always comes first <laughs> here at Hardware Sugar. And um, our next show is... Well, our next shows will be in Feb, and I'll you know post that on the Facebook page. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Um, stay safe.